What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and today we're going to go over Mark, uh, Aftermath of the Market Crash, a series I do, I believe this is the third series, uh, the third episode in the series. Um, this is a series where pretty much we go over what we made off the market crash every time content drops. So if you guys don't know, when content drops, I simply just browse the auction looking for amethyst, maybe new amethysts that are cheap and try to make profit off them. So in this market crash, I made a ton of MT off literally some uh, a couple of cards, only like three cards. They're a little pricey, but we went out there and made some MT. Also, before we get into it, uh, drop a like sub if you are new for a chance to winning 10k MT because we do a giveaway every day Once we hit that like goal of 25 likes we will give away MT. So let's get into it. So first off We got some auctions. Okay, um, we got curry. We, we sold a ton of cards I'll show you in a second, but I want to see what curry's going for because I did snipe him out about 40 uh, 45k I believe so let's check out his price. I know I sold one of them for about 59 so he's looking like I'm not gonna make too much MT. All right, he's at 55. That's pretty good. I'll make a decent amount of MT. So, so this is what I'm gonna tell you. Uh, I'm going all over these prices. They're off the top of my head. If you don't believe me, I have video uh, of all the cards I bought. So it's a market crash video. So you can go check that out if you don't believe me. So let's get into it. So this is what I've sold so far. These are all from Snipes. Okay. Now let's get into it. So we got Paul George in the market crash for 27k. Sold them for 36, making about. Uh, 26 about 7k clean. So we made 7k off Paul George um, Let's go check his price now. So Paul George um, His price had to have gone up since I sold him for that much. So let's check out his price. Hopefully he's not over 40k But let's see. So Paul George is at about 39k. All right, so we lost out on about 38k. He's, we lost out about a little bit of MT, but still made MT so off that we made 7k this justin jackson we got for 1k actually 2k so we made about a uh, thousand five hundred off him so let's say we made about 8k so far matt's off but let's say we made 8k off this hakeem this was a big one i made about 10k off this hakeem clean i um i got him for 40k on the dot and i sold him for 55k so that's a big big snipe this marberry we got for 5k it's a sapphire one i sold him for 14.3 so with that math, we made about over 30, what is it? We got 10K for Akeem, about 10K between the other players, and we made about 10K, let's just say 8K. So we made like a 28K between those couple players, okay? We also got the Curry to sell at 50. We're gonna sell him at, he's probably gonna get 50, I'll make about 5K off that. So 33K, we also, we sniped out not one, not two, we sniped out two Pippins, and we sniped out another Hakeem in my lineup. I got all of them for 40k. I, I swear to you guys. You can check out my video if you don't believe me. Um, so this happened earlier in the day. So what happens with these cards? They go down as the days go. The first day you always want to pick up these cards because after the first day they really don't go down that much. So I picked up two Pippins for about 40k, literally 40k on the die actually, and I also got two Akeems for 40k. I sat on it for about 20 minutes and I sniped out both of them. I'm gonna make 10k of each so literally with all those snipes i made over 60k profit in about 20 minutes of sniping so in my opinion i think that's pretty deadly we're gonna go over pippin's price now uh, i've been waiting for his price to go up i'm holding on to mine uh for right now so he's 48 oh it looks like he dropped a little bit 48 46 45 oh no he dropped we're not gonna make that much mt but so i sold him last night Right now, okay, I'm still, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna go even on this if I sell them for 44. So right now, what I recommend, um, I recommend holding on to your Scotties and Akeem's. Let's check Akeem's price. I sold one last night for 54k, as you saw. So let's go over Hakeem's price. Let's check his price. See what's going on with that. He is about okay, 41. All right, 50k, 51k, because his 49k is gonna sell soon. So right now, if you would stay on Hakeem, try to get him for like 42k or under, make some profit right now bro so we made about 50 to 60k off all this bro right now i'm just simply waiting i'm just simply waiting bro and this reggie bullock we sniped for about 2k and i think he's like 5 or 6k let's check that out 
This was all in about 30 minutes of sniping, guys. No joke. I have a video on it. Uh, 6,500. So, pretty big snipe, too. All the Knicks players go for a ton of MT. All these players go MT. So, if you guys don't know what the market crash is, I'm going to go over it for you guys. So, pretty much what happens is, when new content drops, I always say... So, this is, what, this is why I like 2K, first of all. Um, these packs... They have hours and days on it, which is a big part in the game because you can make MT off this. So these packs expire in a while. So now what happened was the old packs, the old spotlight packs and the old, I think, legacy packs or something like that. They both expired on the same day. So what does that mean? If two packs, two packs, uh, if they go away, um, they, they have to drop new content. It's like kind of common sense. So honestly, I think Tuesday we're going to get new con content with these legacy showcases. So another market crash will probably happen tuesday so right now um what i'm noticing is every time new content drops all the prices go down especially since these packs are not guaranteed for these players they have a chance so if you have a chance of pulling these players that means you can still pull amis which means their value drops there's more supply goes down demands lower as you pick up meds the supply goes up again because nobody's really um selling them anymore because once that big big rush to the market happens that's when everyone makes their mt so everyone like kind of chills throughout the day and they just try to sell their cards in panic so now everybody's selling their cards in panic higher supply lower demand which means you're going to get them for cheaper day goes on not such a high supply because everyone bought them meaning their price will rise so that's pretty much what it is so now what i do is when packs drop i usually keep my filters between silvers and I keep my filter at Amethyst NBA 20. Why do I say NBA 20? Because they're the most common Amis in the game and they're very easy to pull. Not very easy to pull, but a lot of people do pull them. And they have the most, they have the highest profit margin. Like, you know what I'm saying? So since they have higher profit margins, it's more guaranteed to make your MT. So like, for instance, I got Paul George for 27 or 28, whatever it was. I sold him for 36. I made some profit right there. A quick, easy profit. What you want to do is you want to stay patient. So... If you get a card for, let's say, I would say, let's say you get a card for 20K, there's like two others for 20K, then it goes for 25K. You wanna just wait it out, especially Amethyst, while packs are out, you always just wanna wait. What I do, I pick up the cards when there's a high supply at like the same price. So let's say he's 29K and there's five of them. Dude, pick up, pick up as many cards and as many Amethysts as you can when packs are out, when new packs drop, because they always go up in value. I've noticed that. Um, unless they drop like some guaranteed amethyst pack, then I wouldn't. But other than that, bro, that's how you make my, that's how you make MT. That's how I've been making my MT and it's been working very well. So I also popped three of these packs. Don't pop them. They're terrible. So for every market crash, what you want to do, I say it in every video, every video, I don't have a team for a reason. What I do is I sell every single card I got. I always sell every card, especially Amis, current day Amis. But, so you always want to sell current day Amis, but this is also what I want to talk about. Since old packs are gone, what you want to do is pick up Amethyst, like Paul Pierce. Since his packs are gone, his price is going to rise. So, I'm pretty sure I got him for like 50k, 50 something. He already went up about 10k. No, he was 46k two days ago before these packs were gone. He's at freaking 60k. I wish I picked up more. He was at 46k, he's at 60k now. If I bought that, I'll make a solid 8 to 10k profit of all, of all these cards. And as you can see, there's not a high quantity of these cards. They're low-key going away. There's not that many. As you can see, bro, These this is not a lot of cards. So sooner or later, his price might go up to 70k. And if you have him, you're going to get a big dub. So, so, so far, this market crash was not bad. Honestly, I rated about a 7 out of 10. It could have been better. Amis did not drop that much, but they definitely dropped, making some profit. But as you see, through the week, if you hold on to your Amethysts, like Curry, whatever, if they don't drop content on Tuesday, which I think they will, they'll go up a ton. But Tuesday, get ready for a market crash. I think it might be a really big one because there is a uh, mystery player in this involved with this. So yeah, stay tuned for that. New content dropping soon. I'll drop a video before it comes out telling you what you should do and uh, pretty much market scheme. That's what I do, bro. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for another video, possibly some triple threat gameplay. Actually, no, we got Scotty Pippen gameplay right after this. So stay tuned for that. I hope you all enjoy. Have a good one. Peace.